Vincent Cacase. Welcome to Cacase Fine Art. Uh, I'm very excited about this coming season. I've just spent a month rehanging the whole gallery and I'm going to give you a nice preview tour right now. Here I've got a couple of my paintings up from uh, a trip I took to Mexico. This is the high desert in Mexico. This is a nice blue agave. Uh, these were in the botanical garden just outside of San Miguel. Here I have a lot of small paintings, things that I've collected over the years. I have the bronze work of uh, Bernard Franz, uh, both his bronzes and his cast iron, uh, beautiful bookends and uh, doorstops right here. Here's a big knife painting I've done of uh, a view of paradise, just out of my head, composed. Uh, it's one of a series of paintings I've done called My Island. I have a lot of new paintings too in the gallery. This is a brand new one that James Kerr just brought in called Afternoon Breeze. I have a, a lot of additional work by James Kerr. Twilight moon rising over there. A nice still life of the basket of eggplants. A beautiful Costa Rican painting of some palm trees and the sunset. And a delightful dockside scene called Quiet Afternoon. I also have a nice collection of small paintings by James Kerr. Very happy to have some new paintings in from Sue Ann Wallentuck. These are part of her new, brand new Blossom series. I just put out a large selection of my black and white paintings. These paintings I've been doing over the years in certain series, I've done a whole series of early jazz bands, I've done a series of nighttime scenes. This is uh, the swamp with some white crowned night herons flying through. Uh, and also sort of a fantasy of uh, what the tropics look like. On the large wall in the back of the gallery, I have a lot of paintings that I've done which were inspired from some of my trips. This was a trip in France that I had taken and I was doing a small study painting on this location, painting the trellis, and this little boy kept skipping by going under the trellis. And when I returned to my studio, I said, I have to put the boy in and make this about the boy and the roses. These are uh, other paintings this is from Italy. These are from Italy, the uh, Cinque Terre on the bottom. That's up by Bellagio on Lake Como. I have paintings that I've done in France. There's the lavender fields. Uh, there's one of Sacre Coeur there with the rainbow. I have a nice story about that painting I can share with you. Uh, then I have a vineyard from Napa. Uh, a brand new painting of mine of Monet's Bridge. A breezy day with the wisteria blowing in the breeze. I have a nice collection in this corner. Well, let's head over there. I've been an oil painter for 40 years, but I've also been an art collector. These are some paintings that I've collected over the years from Emile Groupe, who those of you in New England are familiar with him as starting the School of Art in Gloucester. Uh, this is a beautiful 1932 painting of his called Bass Rocks. I love the color in it, the movement of the ocean. Uh, very, very expressive of Groupe. Uh, this is my personal favorite. This is called uh, Spring Vermont. Uh, he painted these birch trees up in, I believe this to be somewhere around Jeffersonville uh, in northern Vermont, and uh, just love it. These paintings are in the school of Emile Groupe. Uh, this one is unsigned, I believe his hand to be in it. Uh, might be a student work that he helped with, uh, or maybe it's just an unfinished uh, painting of Emile Groupe. I have it as the school of Emile Groupe, and this is one of his uh, better students, Maria List, who was a painter. Uh, I believe these are both the paintings, the same subject at that same dock. Uh, like I said, I've been collecting paintings for many, many years, and I finally brought uh, these paintings out for sale. I live in Delray Beach, Florida, and I also have my gallery and attached studio here. Uh, this is one of the reasons we have a really gorgeous beach here. I've done lots of paintings of it. Here is the beach umbrellas. Uh, here's a small one uh, where they're renting the cabanas on the beach. 
Uh, there's others that are of the beach, and uh, the final one is the palm trees with the picnic table. That's down in Marathon. Also here at Delray Beach, there's an awful lot of kite boards. Very thrilling sport, particularly when the wind is blowing. I like to get away and paint, and one of my favorite places to go is Maine. I spent the whole summer there two summers ago on Monhegan Island, and this collection is paintings largely from Monhegan. As well as being a painter, I've also been a collector, as I've said, and I'm really in love with black and white work. This is things that I've picked up over the last 40 years. They're mostly etchings and woodcuts with some drawings, things that I think are very expressive and unique uh, in their ability to capture more than just a snapshot. It's a feeling about a moment in time. Well, thank you for watching the preview. I certainly hope you've enjoyed it. I would like to now invite you personally to come and see the gallery. You can uh, direct message me and uh, set up an appointment and you'll have the gallery all to yourself. Thanks so much, stay safe, and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye-bye.